Thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here to give you a closer look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and an exclusive <laughs> Death by Snoo look Snoo. at Resident Evil Village gameplay that you do not want to miss. So without further ado, let's get started. World premiere. Hey now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know, we hardly talk about anything else. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. And when Glamazon went... over here is thick. No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Like, I, I wonder if we're actually going to actually see, Can like, to scale what just how tall she actually on? is. No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. Oh, those look inviting. Oh wait, are zombies actually back? Oh, that's a huge bitch! Damn, she gotta duck down to get through the doorway, huh? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn, Who I didn't know she you? was going to be Dikembe Mutombo tall. Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. Father Gascoigne, is that you? Martin! <laughs> <laughs> it did look like Gabriel Iglesias' best friend. That was amazing, <laughs> but I still have so many questions. Like, when can I pre-order this thing? Oh, I got I more than just that. Fabiano has some answers for us. Let's see what he has to say. I mean, hey, I am not going to say Glamazon over there ain't Resurfing easy on the Resident eyes. Village. When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June, we only mentioned PlayStation 5. I'm happy to announce that we've been working hard to bring the survival horror experience onto current gen as well. Resident Evil Village will also be coming to PlayStation 4 day and date with PlayStation 5. Learn the from PS4 Cyberpunk's mistakes. Upgraded for free to the digital PS5 version. It's also my pleasure to tell you exactly when you can get your hands on the game. Resident Evil Village will be available worldwide on May 7th. No shit! Pre-orders kicking off today. Alongside the standard edition, That's we have a few other options. Way, First, we have the digital deluxe edition, available on all platforms. Players will be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Hold on. A word. So, let, let's... 
let's dissect this a little bit. So the Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil Village comes with a gun. Comes with the tragedy of Ethan Winters. Found footage RE7 filter. A save device. So th this can't this can't be a thing. The ability to save and the max difficulty of the game are behind D DLC. What? Before you hop on max difficulty thing, it just means unlocked immediately. Okay. I have questions about the save device, though. I have questions. You think it's more of a portable safe device? I mean... I might buy that. With extra content, including in-game... Uh, I might... I might buy that. It's a... Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I know me. I'm probably going to get the deluxe edition anyway, so I guess I'll find out when I have the game. ...items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. There's also a collector's edition for consoles that includes all the deluxe edition content as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield, a steelbook case, poster, yeah. and art book. And for those yeah, I'm not getting the collector's the edition. Entry, I don't want that statue. We have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Bundle. This Capcom, you're more than welcome to send me one. I'll happily unbox and review it on stream, but I'm not paying for that statue. Pre-order any of these editions, and you'll be able to get your hands on both the Mr. Raccoon weapon accessory and their survival resource pack, which will offer additional support during the first few hours of gameplay. Finally, digital pre-orders from the... Here, so your ass doesn't get kicked as much. Here's some shit right from the start. PlayStation Store will receive an exclusive Resident Evil Village mini soundtrack. Man, don't make me pre-order digitally. Don't make me All do right. that. I've been waiting for this. I know you've been waiting for this. It's time for the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Alongside this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Let's take a look. Give it to me. Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first person. So wait, Chris just took Ethan's think it kid. Really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Damn, that's harsh. Why? I I have questions. Why did Chris do this? I notice Ethan's holding the gun with both hands now. He's not just kind of. Waving it around single-handedly. You'll see a lot of those little details come to life here. Probably immune has to be immune to the what, though? The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. From art design to technology, everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. The place definitely looks clean. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. Um, As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. What appendage is he losing this time? So the leg! Okay! Man blood. Oh, hell no. Oh no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, honey. Now, let's take a look at him. Holy wow. shit, she wow. towers Ethan over them. Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Good lord. Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off. Yeah, some every, everybody with me. That's a huge bitch! <laughs> It's not just about shooting. 
guarding will also be an important part of the game. I mean, it was an important part in the last game. Really weak encounter? Please give me like Which classic Capcom tropes too, where you block and fight. counter. Change up your strategy to defeat them. Oh shit! <laughs> Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? How did how did you miss Something the first shot, my guy? <laughs> management system in Resident Evil Four. This time around, we've added crafting. Which allows you to create really? items such as first aid and ammo. So you can actually make healing items and ammo There's on the fly now? There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. I'm about it. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. When did the they put me in the game? This time he's known as the Duke. You'll be going How to the game and sell weapons, amongst others. <laughs> Let me stop. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's nice to see that uh, Augustus Blue like found work after Wonka's chocolate factory. Wait, do you hear that? And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Okay, so I got things I gotta shoot throughout the world now. There'll be Again. plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Oh, and uh, oh, hell. plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. <laughs> Ow! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, hell no! I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your Oh, no. No, 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 no. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Yikes. Well, that's one way to end the video. Now that we've shown you what's in store for Resident Evil Village, let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. Uh-huh. For this demo, Players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Uh huh. Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. Why do I want to play the demo then? We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 today. Of course, we want as many people as okay, possible cool. to get a chance to play. So we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms ready for sometime this spring. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise with the very first game releasing in Japan back on March 22, 1996. Since then, the series has expanded well beyond the realm of video games. From toys and board games, to CG movies, to live-action Hollywood films... Yeah, we don't talk Resident about the live-action films. ...Resident Evil has become a cultural icon. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Tsuyoshi Kanda to hear more about what you can expect in 2021. Wait a minute. Wasn't that the guy that... Aria this month. We started inviting players to join a Claude's beta test. The test won't happen until later next week. But I want to use this chance to reveal more details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, we are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. Last September, we showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic characters to start the celebration. Now, I'm happy to announce what was behind that. 
Let's take a look. Wait, is this is this the RE verse thing? Wait, is this what I signed up for? Okay, it is. All right. Yo. Oh, you can play as the Baker family too? Dude. Okay, that's pretty dope. Anniversary is one of the ways we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise, showcasing so many of the characters that fans love. It'll be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. So be sure to follow the Resident Evil social channels for the latest Dude. news. And check out the official website for even more details. On behalf of Massive Entertainment and Ubisoft, congratulations to the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. We can't wait to get our hands on our reverse. For the occasion, yeah, I'm play we are bringing the shit a celebration to our game, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident Evil trilogy. Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. Now let's have a look at some of these. Are you telling me I picked a good time to start playing Division again? I did! <laughs> Yo, that's a... Okay, so I saw Jill, I saw Chris, I saw Lee... Hunk! Yes! <laughs> whoa, whoa, alright, alright, back up, back up. Alright. Log in to receive Leon Kennedy RPD outfit February 2nd through the 15th. So in two weeks, this event starts. You're going to be seeing a lot of division on the channel between the 2nd and the 15th. Just letting you know. <laughs> I love it. Infinite darkness. Oh, please tell me it's another movie. Yes. <laughs> バイオハザードインフィニットダークネスについてお話したいと思います。ゲームでおなじみのレオンとクレアが活躍する物語となっております。このサクヒンはですね、ネットフリックスにて全世界配信になりますので、皆さんお楽しみください。Wow, a lot's been happening, and I hope you enjoyed watching. But if you missed anything along the way, don't worry. Keep an eye on the Resident Evil social channels and official website, which will be sharing everything from today's show. Do I need to do a Resident Evil watch party? As a reminder, party? Resident like, Evil Village is available happen? for pre-order starting today for the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. And don't forget, PlayStation 5 owners also get a sneak peek through downloadable content available worldwide starting today. It has been an absolute honor to celebrate the amazing Resident Evil franchise mm. leading up to its 25th anniversary with all of you across the globe. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Oh, so that's it? There's still like 15 minutes left. What's left? Oh, it's just the end screen. Okay. All right, so let's rewind this a little bit. Let's take a look at Let's take a look at Reverse. I want to I want to look at that a little bit more. Cuz there was something in my inbox on the ambassador's website about being invited to a beta and I had no idea what I was being invited to because they didn't tell us what it was. Wait, hold up. Let's back up. 
Okay, fir first off, um, looks like the police station. Yeah, it's definitely the RPD police station. What is up with the filter? Like this, this little comic book, like, film filter that they have on here? What is up with this? Uh, I'm definitely seeing, like, little item drops. Like, little items that are being highlighted as he's running through the map. Yeah, see, there's another one right there. Yeah, what what is up with this filter? Like, that does not make sense to me. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Hey, Greg, thank you so much for gifting subs to Obi and Kazama. Super nice of you. Thank you so much. Like, I I don't know if I like this filter. I really don't know if I like this filter. It makes... It makes Leon look like he has, like, really bad eye makeup on. Alright, whoever's playing Leon can't aim for shit. Okay, so wait a minute. So if you go down, do you have an option of, like, turning into a bioweapon? Yeah, because he, he, like, transforms into Nemesis. And then you have the Neo Tyrant. Like... I am in, I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued by this. I just, like, oh. What, what's that game that they tied to Resident Evil 3? What, Resident Evil Resistance, I think it was called? Where you played, like, the random dudes and then one person was, like, the mastermind that kept sending weapons after you? That didn't really go over well. And then there was a game on the PlayStation 4... Where they tried this once before called Umbrella Core. And that wasn't very good either. <laughs> oh, I really hope this is better. I really, like... I can't help but feel like this is gonna suck. But I'm really hoping it's good. Because, like, man, fuck it. Like, we're just gonna give you a giant Resident Evil themed map... All the iconic characters of the series go in and kill each other. Like. Umbrella Corps is a crime scene. Yeah, don't remind me. Umbrella Corps is terrible. It's absolute garbage. But I'm, I'm really curious. Like. Number one, why not just do another Mercenaries mode? Like, did you really do everything you wanted to do in Resident Evil 6 for Mercenaries? Did you really achieve everything you could possibly achieve in Resident Evil Revelations 2 with mercenaries? Like, there wasn't something else you could think of? But, like, this... <sighs> I am going to be cautiously optimistic about this. Cautiously optimistic. But I cannot help but shake the feeling that this is going to suck. Like, I guess I'll find out in a week, because they did invite me, so. <sighs> please don't let it suck. Capcom, please, please don't let this suck. I really want this to be good. <laughs> uh...